A large number of cable strikes are low voltage electricity cables and many of these are street lighting cables. These types of cables are mainly located in footpaths, are frequently not identified on plans, are commonly only buried at a shallow depth and often do not radiate a signal during daylight hours because there's no current flowing even though it is still live. In this video you will learn how to detect and locate street lighting cables safely and accurately. As standard, your Jenny tool tray contains direct connection leads. Direct connection leads are used as a way of applying a Jenny signal to help you identify and locate a specific target line or utility such as a street light cable. The direct connection plug is inserted into the accessory socket on the Jenny. For your own safety, do not turn on the Jenny until you're ready to apply the signal. The direct connection leads red clip can be attached to a metal conductor such as a street light. If you cannot use the direct connection lead to clip directly to the street light, use the magnet accessory in an area where metal is visible. This will help the Jenny signal couple to the street light. If no metal is visible to connect the magnet to the street light, then you can use the wrap method using the red direct connection cable. Use as much of the cable as possible to wrap around the structure. Once you have made the connection to the street light, you must earth the signal using the black lead. This is most commonly done using the earth stake provided. Remember, for your safety you must use the cat to scan the ground before inserting the earth stake into the ground to avoid hitting any shallow cables. Once the earth stake has been pushed into the ground, attach the direct connection leads black clip. Where possible, try and earth the signal away from the street light and use moist or wet ground for the earth stake as this will improve the Jenny signal on the cable. An earth extension lead accessory can be used to earth the stake further away from the Jenny if there is no suitable ground nearby. If no suitable ground is available for your earth stake, you can earth the signal by clipping the black lead onto a nearby drain cover. To power on the unit, momentarily press the on off button. The unit will power on in standard output level and maximum volume. If you wish to reduce the volume level, use a sustained press on the on-off button when powering on the unit. The boost button can be used to apply a stronger signal to the street light, and in boost mode, the LED will be permanently lit to indicate that the Jenny is in maximum output mode. If the LED is flashing, this indicates that the Jenny's batteries are low, and this may affect the signal output. You can now trace the Jenny signal on the street light cable. For more information on how to use radio detection products, always refer to the user manual or contact Radio Detection to find out about our training courses.